Happy Valentine's Day! Welcome to a Sown Seeds Love Special. Mm. Skip and I have been married seven months, so we really can't give any advice. <laughs> but we are going to give you 10 great tips that were shared with us from people who have been married 25 or more years. Mm. Tip one. As you know, Skip and I was in a three year long distance relationship before we got married. So this is for the singles and the long distance relationships. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, but too much absence makes the heart wander. Tip two, this is for the singles also. Don't lose yourself. You still have identity as well. You know, there's that theory out there that you're looking for someone to complete you. But in God's scenario, it's God completes you, God completes them, and you're two whole people when you come together. Tip three. Okay, I love this one. Someone once told me, if you are devoted to your marriage 100%, don't play games. There are enough things and people that will want to break up your marriage. Don't take part in breaking up your own marriage. Tip four. A former church leader once told me, after salvation, who you marry is the second biggest decision of your life. Wow. Tip five. Don't speak negatively about your spouse to anyone. Because at the end of any kind of argument or when you venting, you'll be all lovey-dovey with your spouse again, and they'll still be thinking negative thoughts. Tip six. All right, so this is a good one. Never stop dating your wife. You know, I even treat it like you're in school, and you know, I'm in elementary school, just starting out. But I want to get to middle school, high school, graduate, get to college, get my master's and PhD, in studying Ashley here. So Aww. never stop dating and learning your wife. <laughs> Tip seven. Now you know I gotta go to the Bible on this one. A man should love his wife like Christ loves the church. And does Christ give up on the church? No. Should a man give up on his wife? No, he loves her unconditionally, and he just never gives up on her. Tip eight. I was once challenged on the idea of person versus potential. Mm -hmm. So I was asked, are you sure and at peace with the person that you're choosing to be with? Not who they'll be in the future or the, who they could grow to, but who they actually are as a person. And I realized that I need to be at peace with that in my heart because that's who I'm falling in love with, the person, not the potential. Tip nine. Okay, so this will probably be your favorite one. Oh, really? In a marriage, one person is always right and the other person is the husband. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Tip, tip 10. 10. I don't know about that number 9, but here's number 10. You know what? It's a journey, so enjoy it each step of the way. Don't be too serious. You guys were friends first, mm -hmm. so continue to develop that friendship and have fun along the way. Well, we hope you got something out of those 10 facts. We're just starting on our journey, and we're trying to apply these every day. You know what? God loves you, and he wants all of us to love others because he's called you to be a, a sown seed. seed.